Hey, how you doing? I'm Dustin Waldo from Bitten Arkansas. Today we're going to go over something very beautiful and life-giving. It's how to see the true powers of the Holy Spirit's voice and not just hear them. You see, the words of the Bible light our path, but the numbers are how we diligently seek His gorgeous voice. Today we're going to show you the threes and fours going season together, just like we've been on the season here of lately of the threes and fours going season and sequence together, like one, two, three, four, like they do in the mathematical equation. But the real reason why they go on the season together is because the Father, the Son, the Holy Ghost, Trinity, when they three form into one body and direct into your heart they fill you up and, and they change your life okay and the way you see that through scripture today we're going to go over the trinity scripture first to show you how to see this through scripture genesis 126 it says then god said then god said it's four three four then god said it doesn't matter if it's from comma to comma. It doesn't matter if it's chapter 3, chapter 4. It doesn't matter what the case may be. Okay, and we're going to go over that, guys. But here on this channel, we compare and contrast how to show you the patterns of the Bible still exist to the patterns of this lifetime today because God never changes. He, his word is everlasting from everlasting. It, it, it's uncorruptible. It's an imperishable crown. It never fades away. Only the grass of the fields will fade away. We will fade away. But the word of God it will never fade away. It never goes away. Never, ever. It trickles down from generation to generation to generation to generation to Justin Scooter Waddle and then to you okay that's exactly how this is going right now through the eyes of the spirit i'm just paul planting you have to be apollo's water for god to give you the increase for direction for new scripture for yourself for different measurements of faith of your own talent this is my talent what we're seeing and i ask and urge y'all i'm not special i just ask and urge y'all to please get up and do this on your own accord through your own ambition that the holy spirit gives you now genesis 126 is going to show you the trinity scripture okay and then it says then god said let us, one, make man in our image according to our likeness. Okay, that's how I see the Trinity. Then God said, 434, four, let us make man in our image according to our likeness is what you're seeing there. You're seeing the three names make one body. You're seeing the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Three names make one body. And when they conform into your body, they change you. Now, this is the change scripture. Watch this. Let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, one, over the birds of the air, two, over the cattle, three, over all the earth, over every creepy thing, four, that creeps on the earth, okay? So let's go over this and bear witness to the Holy Spirit. You're growing with the Word of God. You're growing with the Trinity, the Father, the Son, the Holy Ghost. Three names make one body. You're not growing with Justin Scooter Waddle's three names to make one body, okay? I'm just a dumb donkey carrying the message. Now... Father, Son, Holy Ghost, you got 434. Four. Let us make man in our image according to our likeness. That's three names make one body. Let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the birds of the air, over the cattle, and over all the earth of every creepy thing that creeps on the earth. See? You see how, that, you see how the last one, the, the fourth option changed too? <laughs> it gave three options for that one. <laughs> That's so powerful. God is so powerful. Hey, he does this right before our faces. Look. Over the cattle, over all the earth, over every creepy thing that creeps on the earth. <laughs> He's, he breaks it all the way down for you. I'm trying to tell you in the name of Jesus. Now watch this. Then God said, 434, four, let us make man in our image according to our likeness. Three names make one body. Now you're going to really see that over here in the Trinity. Uh, first first. John 5, 7 says, thank you, Holy Spirit, for getting us there. It says, for there are three that bear witness in heaven. The Father, the Word is three, four, and the Holy Spirit, and these three are one. Okay, so when Jesus Christ gave up his flesh for us and he said it is finished, they became three bodies make one one name. Okay, Father, Son, Holy Ghost, Trinity. Okay, now everything is in this pattern for that reason. The Word. Okay, that's what you're seeing there. You're seeing that we're all made in the likeness image of them. It says that let us make man in our image according to our likeness. Okay, that's three names that make one body. Just like your head, your torso, and your legs. L-E-G-S. If the threes and fours go together and season together because that's what you're seeing there. You're seeing the Trinity. You're seeing you're seeing the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost in your body. 
in your form and in every single thing that you're about to see here down the road here in a minute we're comparing and contrasting to show you how god never changes he's made everything in the likeness image of him and it says for there are three that bear witness in heaven the father you see how Jesus' name ain't the Son no more? It says the Word. That means He changed the Word. Direction to change is what you're seeing. Okay? And the Holy Spirit, these three are one. Alright? But now, the Spirit of truth that guides you into all truth, John 16, 13, is this right here. We are made of water and blood. So in verse John 5, 8. And there are three that bear witness on earth. The Spirit the water and the blood and these three agree as one you see how it changed so the father the word and the holy spirit these three are one right but then the holy spirit bears witness to our conscience romans 9 1 in christ jesus i lie not my conscience also bear me witness to the holy ghost so he agrees these three agree as one the blood and the and the water that's in us see the royalty that we were born into, right? Because we're joint heirs with Jesus Christ. And that's exactly what you're seeing there. You're seeing the Trinity conform into the body. And then they, them three agree as one. See? Boom. So here. For th there are three that bear witness in heaven. The Father, the Word, three, four, and the Holy Spirit. And these three are one. And there are three that bear witness in, in on earth. The Spirit the water and the blood, and these three agree as one. Do you see the difference? You see how it changes? Well, it changes us when those three that, that form one body agree as one, okay? And I mean, when, they, when these three are one, form into your heart, then that's when they make their thoughts your thoughts, and, and then they fill you up with, with milk and honey, with the wisdom of God. The true powers of the Holy Spirit will come into your heart, into your vessel, and fill you with all this love and joy, you see. My excitement, my joy is coming from the Holy Spirit, you see. For the joy of the Lord is our strength, Nehemiah 8.10 tells you. That's exactly what you're seeing here, the Trinity. Okay? Now, you always go in season. You always go in sequence. Okay, you always go in, 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 the, in the pattern God made it in. Okay, you don't get four without three first. Okay, so you always go in pattern. But first, let's go to Hebrews 5, uh -uh, Hebrews 11, 3. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Got there in three flips. In the name of Jesus, thank you for your direction. By faith we understand that the worlds were framed by the Word of God. So that the things which are seen were not made of things which are visible. So the true powers of the Holy Spirit has formed this whole world. The master craftsman, the Holy Spirit, has formed this whole world by the Word of God. Now we call them numbers, but He calls them names. And everything has a numerical sequence, a numerical pattern for that reason. Because, because He framed the worlds with an S by the Word of God. So each, word, each number to Him is a different name. And if you call the name what God calls it, you'll see it more clearly. Okay, say for instance, he calls three direction. Okay, now G O D and I am, I am is three letters, and he wants you to be directed to him by the author of the verse and the chapter, by Old Testament poetry, New Testament. But the main one that directs you to God is the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Okay, guys, now the true powers of the Holy Spirit is the one who directs us, that's why he is the third in line. So, the, the, the main one that directs us is the true powers of the Holy Spirit. And every single time you see that number three in this life or in this Bible, in this book, what we call a book, but it's really living water, living testament a generation a different time error if you will four and three go together in season you see all you're seeing is the holy spirit directed them okay like joseph interpret the butler baker and pharaoh's dream all right and the butler's dream was three branches three days and the baker's dream was three baskets three days or joshua took three days to cross the jordan right or it was uh Na naomi and ruth they divided between their husbands but ruth got boaz and naomi got ruth and boaz so that's the that's direction, right? And, and Ruth and Boaz started the lineage of Jesus with Obadiah, Jesse, and David. See? And the 10,000 men of the army whittled down the 300 men of the army and they won the war. You see? It doesn't matter what the case may be of the scenario. It could be in Second Second Chronicles chapter 20, verse 22, uh, Jehoshaphat. All they do is praise the Lord and they beat, beat, beat three armies. Okay, or you can look up First Kings chapter seventeen twenty one, and Elijah prays over a widow's dead son three times and raises him from the dead. You see, it doesn't matter the occasion, the situation, whatever the case may be that God calls it. If it says three in the situation, it's direction to God. You understand? 
It was Balaam, the donkey, and then the angel got in the path of the donkey. She veered off the path three times, and he whipped her three times. And she really talked. This is going to prove she talked. It doesn't matter the scenario. Jonah got thrown over the boat into the belly of the fish and then to dry, dry land. Uh, and he reached dry land in chapter 3. And there's only four chapters of Jonah, you see. And he was in the belly of the fish three days and three nights. It took him three days to go to Nineveh. And, and, and every single scenario that you see the three in, it means direction. No matter the situation. John, James, and Peter went to the mountains to see Elijah, Moses, and Jesus. And they asked if they build three great tabernacles. That's three sets of threes. Daniel's three friends got tempted three times in chapter 3. And Daniel prayed three times a day. It doesn't matter who it is, where it is, what it is. It's Jesus Christ. This is in everything. The Word is in every pattern. When Daniel's three friends got tempted three times in chapter 3, it changed King Nebuchadnezzar in chapter 4. And he got the true powers of the Holy Spirit, you see. And he didn't want to release his pride. So in chapter 4 of Daniel, King Nebuchadnezzar turns into a beast-like animal, okay? With the wings of an eagle, uh, I mean, the, uh, 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 the claws of an eagle, the hair of an oxen, and, uh, and, and let's just go to it right now in the name of Jesus. Because we're going to change the fours, ready? So four in the Bible means change. You're going to see... The three and four patterns change a lot more in the fours than you will any of them. Because you have to have three bad things in order to have change in your life. Okay? Job 5.18 says, For he bruises, but he binds up in wounds, but his hands make whole. You see? For he bruises, but he binds up, and he wounds three bad things, but his hands make whole. He's going to break you down to change you. Okay? So quit beating yourself up. You're not letting him down. He's breaking you down. Job 5.18, For he bruises, but he binds up, and he wounds, but his hands make whole. You understand? And when Daniel's three friends walked out of the fire with the fourth looking like the Son of God, they changed. And not only did they change, but because when somebody sees the Word of God move something else, it doesn't matter what the case may be. If somebody sees the Word of God's voice move something, it will change them immediately. Just like it did right here. In chapter 4 Daniel, King Nebuchadnezzar, the king to, uh, to the all peoples, nations, and languages. Three for direction that dwell on the earth. Peace be multiplied to you. I thought it good to declare the signs and wonders that the Most High God has worked for me. How great are His signs and how mighty are His wonders. His kingdom is ever everlasting kingdom. His dominion is from generation to generation. Okay, guys. So he caught on to the true powers of the Holy Spirit. He's seen the true powers of the Holy Spirit work miracles in somebody else's life, three men's life, and the fourth looking like the Son of God walked them out of the fire together. Okay, it changed the perspective of his mind. It, it changed him completely all the way around. Now, he didn't understand these interpretations. Okay, so he asked Daniel right here, verse 9, Belshazzar, chief of the magicians, because I know the spirit of the Holy God is in you, and no secret troubles you explain to me the visions of my dream that i have seen in its interpretation these were the visions of my head while on my bed <laughs> that's where poetry comes from i love that god is a poet didn't know what i promise you is now watch this daniel interprets these dreams and he tells him one specific thing in verse 427 therefore O king let my advice be acceptable to you Break off your sins by being righteous and your iniquities by showing mercy to the poor. Perhaps there may be a lengthening of your prosperity. But he didn't want to do that. Watch this. Pride overwhelms him. Then the king spoke saying, Is it not this great Babylon that I have built for a royal dwelling by my mighty power and for the honor of my my majesty? Look at all them my's. I, 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 my, my, my. All right. While the word was still in the king's mouth, verse 31, a voice fell from heaven. King Nebuchadnezzar, to you it is spoken. The king has departed from you. The kingdom has departed from you. And they shall drive you from men, and dwelling shall be with the beasts of the field. They shall make you eat grass like oxen, right? And seven times shall pass over you until you know that the Most High rules in the kingdom of men and gives it to whomever he chooses. That very hour, the word was fulfilled concerning King Nebuchadnezzar. Con concerning Nebuchadnezzar, he was driven from men and ate grass like oxen. His body wet was dew of heaven till his hair was grown like eagles' feathers and his nails like birds' claws. As it is. That is, that's, that's your three options. 
Three options in chapter four changed him. Direction to change. That's what you're seeing, guys, all over the Bible. Okay, because you got G-O-D, changed the man, and they wrote four Gospels. That's three, four. Okay, you got Samson got tempted three times by Delilah, but that fourth time he changed back to a regular man. He told her his true powers, you see, three, four, you see. Or you got, you wouldn't throw your seed, S-E-E-D, amongst the wayside, or the stony ground, or the thorns, but you would put it amongst the good ground, G-O-O-D, and the fours go with fours just like Jesus in the three crosses, three nails that hung him, three names above him, rose on the third day, went through life, death, and resurrection, and preached the gospel for three years, and got crucified at the age 33, guys. So if God's clearly trying to point perspective out like that, just in Jesus' life alone, the threes mean direction. But you... The fours is obviously uh, go together just like the threes do. So Lazarus was dead, D-E-A-D, -E for three days. Okay, Mary, Martha, we're waiting on Jesus, Jesus to raise him up from the dead. Okay, and change him back to being alive. You see, so he was dead three days. Three people were about to change him back to being alive. You see how the whole scenario changes. The whole perspective goes together with one another, just like the threes with threes and the fours with fours. You see, or the word, right? Because that's what you're seeing, guys. You're seeing the two powers of the Holy Spirit's pattern like that. That is their pattern that they use all over the nation. It doesn't matter where. Over here in London, it don't matter where he goes. The Holy Spirit is in everything. The Holy Spirit. God gave up his beautiful son's blood on that cursed cross of Calvary. When Judas kissed Jesus, it was to give us the blood and the Spirit. Now the three pattern is Judas, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit. Okay, let's go in sequence, right? Judas kissing Jesus gave us the Holy Spirit. So when Judas kissed Jesus, it gave us the blood and the Spirit. And it changed our life, okay? And it put Jesus on a cursed cross, which is one, two, and the Savior makes three, to a four-pointed cross. As threes and fours go together in sequence. Well, the Bible's made up of Old Testament poetry, New Testament. Okay, three sections of the Bible. What changes the Old Testament? The New Testament. What changes in between the Old Testament from the New Testament? Four poetry books. You got Psalms, Proverbs, Ecclesiastes, and fours go with fours, the Songs of Solomon. Four words for the fourth poetry book, you see? He never changes. Matthew, seven letters, but then you got Mark, Luke, and John, which is three out of the four that has four letters apiece. Every single scenario plays out to that sequence, that pattern. Because that is the pattern of the earth. That's the pattern of God. You see, that's his trinity. See, his trinity. Three names make one body. Father, the Son, Holy Ghost. That's exactly what you're seeing here. You're seeing Godhead. Godhead. Okay. The Son, who stretched his arms from east to west, which is four and four. East to west is changes. And it changed our life. When he stretched his arms from east to west, it changed our life. Okay, and then you're seeing the legs of direction from the true powers of the Holy Spirit, the gospel in your shoes, the gospel of peace. That's why your shoes have souls on them. Because <laughs> the souls, your soul, the Holy Spirit walks with you everywhere you go. Proverbs 3, 6, and all our ways acknowledge Him and He should direct our path. That's what you're seeing everywhere, all over this earth. It's the Father, the Son, Holy Ghost, Trinity. The three names make one body. When those three direct into your life, it changes you. Four, three, four. See? <laughs> the, then God said, <laughs> then God said, right? Let us make man in our image according to our likeness. <laughs> four, three, four. <laughs> it don't stop there though. Watch this. That's one of them. Watch. One, two, three. Direction, right? Direction. Drop off only, which is four, three, four. Booyah! Hallelujah! <laughs> Pick four, two, four. <laughs> See? Booyah! And it's three of them. Look. One, two, three. Big picture first. See the whole trinity first? Because you got the Bible's made up of uh, the author, the verse, and the chapter. Okay? Then you got the author, the verse, and the chapter. But then you got two sections on this page and two sections on this page. It's one, two, three, four. Change page. Your author, verse, and chapter, one, two, three, four, change the page. That's what you're seeing here. You're seeing exactly what you're seeing in that beautiful testimony that we call a book that's really a living water, living testament of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. In the Old Test and in the New Test is what you're seeing. Three, fours go together, guys. He never changes. 
He's the most beautiful, breath-giving, breathtaking. He does what He wills. When He wills it, he, when He wants to will it, it's, it's nothing of our own occasion. It's of, of what He wants. See? Proverbs 16, 9. A man's heart plans his ways, but the Lord directs his steps. Does that sound like free will? If you're Jonah and you don't know you're Jonah, your life is going to dramatically suck until you turn to the Word of God and start doing what He willed you to do with it. I know, I promise you, I was in a hell of a well of a problem my whole life. 17 mental institutions. I went through drugs after drugs. I used to pick pills up off the ground just to see if I'd get an effect from it. <laughs> what in the world? The devil was so scared of me. Look at all this beautiful knowledge that's in me. And I'm not special. I'm not nobody. Without God Almighty, without the true powers of the Holy Spirit, I ain't nothing. You understand? I ain't nothing. I ain't never been nothing. I've always been mocked and humiliated and put down and shamed and belittled. You know why? Because, because God told me in John 15, 19, if you were of the world, the world would love its own. But you are not of the world because I have chosen you out of the world so the world shall hate you. <laughs> hey, if, you're, if you're hated by the world, that's because you're chosen by God. That's your clear indication that you need to get up off your feet and get up on there and, get, and see what the Holy Spirit got for you. Because I'm not going to lie to you. This is amazing what I feel inside. I apologize for being all over the place the last couple of days on these videos. Uh, I've been going through a breakdown sequence. And uh, I'm, I passed my child test of tribulation. And it's been very beautiful. And uh, my zealousness can be a stumbling block sometimes. And sometimes i got to slow down. <laughs> Praise God. That's one of my only problems now. Praise God. That's one of my only problems I have left right now in my mind is to slow down. <laughs> it's hard, you know. And I used to think he was trying to, uh, I was like, I thought you said you wasn't an author confusion. <laughs> you taught me all this knowledge, you spit me up. Now you want me to slow down. I didn't realize he's trying to teach me self discipline, you know, self discipline, uh, patience, you know, self control is to last through the spirit. And once you get to the ninth fruit of the Spirit, everything after that is self-control. So y'all please ask y'all, urge y'all to jump on board. Please subscribe at the bottom. Please like and share. Please comment. Whatever you need to ask a question, we'll take it to the Holy Spirit and ask Him to show y'all, reveal to you. I ask you to please get up off your feet and get up out here and shed this knowledge. You know, I'm not talking about shed these, shed these videos or shed these YouTube videos. I'm talking about shed the knowledge of God that's on these videos, okay? The only way I, that they get out there is by y'all being Apollo's water. I'm done been Paul planting, you see? You got to be the man with five talents to go out and get five more talents with it. See? You got to have the ambition to ask the Holy Spirit to give it to you. Ask the Holy Spirit to give you the ambition to get up off your feet and get this knowledge out there because this world is... They're calling their they're calling their kingdom in the music industry. They're calling their kingdom in Hollywood. They're calling their kingdom over. Uh, they're calling their kingdom to the, the demonic people. So it's time to get up and let's do, work for the Lord. Y'all ready to do some work for the Lord? I want to show everybody that the Lord's voice is so beautiful that you can see the voice of the Lord with threes and fours. Y'all have a beautiful day. God bless you.